eyewitnesses. In 2 Peter 1 and 16, we read, For we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Do you trust the eyewitnesses? The apostles had been faithful to fulfill Jesus' command to make disciples of all nations and to teach those disciples all that Jesus had commanded. They were eyewitnesses to Jesus' ministry the once fearful apostles became bold for Christ after becoming eyewitnesses to his resurrection. Peter, James, and John were also eyewitnesses to the transfiguration of Jesus. On a high mountain, Jesus' face became as bright as the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light, and Elijah and Moses appeared with him. God the Father spoke from heaven and told Peter, James, and John to listen to his son, Jesus. They were eyewitnesses of Jesus' divine glory, and Jesus would return with that glory one day. False teachers taught lies about Jesus, but Peter and the apostles taught the truth about Jesus. They were eyewitnesses and could be trusted. False teachers still teach lies about Jesus. Some teach that Jesus was only a man. Some teach that Jesus never existed. Some teach that Jesus will bless you if you give money to their church. The motivation of false teachers is always connected to self-interest. They may want to deny truth to justify their sin. They may want to gain their own followers for fame and fortune. God's Word, what God has revealed to mankind, only comes by the Holy Spirit, not through the self-interest of people. False teachers cannot thrive without followers. We can be fooled by the latest expert or self-proclaimed prophet. We must be reminded of the eyewitness testimonies of the apostles. God has given us His Word to help us know Him and know how to live. His Word also protects us from false doctrine. False teachers teach lies about Jesus, but Peter and the apostles taught the truth about Jesus. They were eyewitnesses and can be trusted. Have you heard people say that the Bible cannot be trusted? Challenge those claims by doing your own research into the evidence. What are the implications for the truthfulness of God's Word? It means that you are accountable before God. Do you trust the eyewitnesses? The early church was very concerned about the testimony of eyewitnesses and the truthfulness of Scripture. The New Testament is the best documented work from antiquity. From a historical perspective, there is no reason not to trust the New Testament. From a spiritual perspective, many people do not want to be accountable before God. You must make a choice of how you will respond to God's revelation by the Holy Spirit through the eyewitnesses. God, thank you for the revelation that you have given me in your word. I thank you for the scholarly work that has been done to support my belief in your word, but I know that your word is truly spiritually discerned. Thank you for revealing the truth that brought me to salvation by the work of your spirit. I trust the eyewitnesses, but more than anything, I trust you. Guide me daily into truth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.